Hello, Scorpios. This is your girl, Read Divine, with Read Divine Tarot. I'm here today to do you guys' January 5th through the 15th love readings. This is going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. But if it did resonate with you, leave me a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to comment. I'll comment back. And let's get it popping. Oh, all the cards just fell everywhere, so I don't know what that is all about. Give me one second. Let me get it right. So at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups so there could be some options or you could be fantasizing you could be in your head all right we got the empress here so you could be thinking about that other woman or you could be thinking about your mother let's put that out there all right first card popped out is the four of pentacles so there's some type of resist resisting. You might be resisting some type of commitment. You might be not wanting to commit. And we have the King of Cups. So this is you. We have the Emperor in the past energy. We have the Page of Pentacles in the future energy. And what's crowning you is the Queen of Cups. The Fool is how you're feeling in the situation. We have the Three of Swords as how others look at you. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hopes. And as your outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're not wanting a commitment with someone. Could be with the Aries or it could be with another water sign because it's weird because we have the King of Cups down here and the Queen of Cups right above it. So there's some water energy here too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I see earth energy here as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like you decide you're you're not sure whether or not if you want if you want to commit to somebody, if you want to be in a relationship. We have the death card. So this is you. This is you being in control. All right. We have the queen of wands. So you could be getting ready to um, get something off the ground with a fire sign. Leo, um, Aries, or Sagittarius. And then we have the four of swords here with the queen of cups. And your, um, what's crowning you. So... You could be feeling like there's a need to take a break. You could be feeling like there's a need to take a break. All right. Yeah, seven of swords. So you in a situation, you want to take a leap of faith. But I feel like you're wanting to go off and do what you want to do, how you want to do it. Because how others see you is the three of swords. So others see you as like a heartbreaker. And let's clarify with the world. So it's like a heartbreaking closure. All right, so we got the three of pentacles here with the queen of pentacles. So there could have been a third party involved. It's possible that it could have been with an earth sign. I mean, you hoping that things work out the way you would like for them to work out. Or there could have been an Aquarius that you're putting some effort into.
And this was a quick, sweet reading. Like it got straight to the point. I feel like you're not you're not sure if you want a relationship or if you want a long term commitment. I feel like you just want to be you want to be free with the fool here and the seven of swords. Like you want to be free to do what you want to do. You don't want to be tied down. You want to be in control of yourself. And you don't want anybody telling you what to do. You want to move how you want to move. And as the outcome, you're hoping that everything works out the way you want it to work out. All right, Scorpios. This is going to be your January the 5th through the 15th general love reading. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is your girl, Read Divine with Read Divine Tarot. And I will see you guys next week for your weeklies. I love to sit here and chit-chat it up with you guys, but I got to go. All right, until next time.